Hello everybody, my name is Al DePaulo and I'm the Partner Products Manager and today we're going to take a quick look at a sample model created in the version 25. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is create a solid. So we'll create a new layer, make an active, go to solids and then cube and we're going to do a 5 by 4 by 2 and then we'll click OK. Alright, so here we have our solid. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a pocket uh, and we want to cut this, uh, this pocket out of our geometry here. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Um, what I'm going to do is just create a rectangle and this is going to be a 4 by 3 and then from this rec rectangle we're going to create a extruded surface. We're going to make this inch and a half. And okay. So now we have our first shape and our second shape. What we'll go ahead and do is cut these shapes away from each other. So now we have our pocket. The next thing that we want to do is create another rectangle. This one's going to be a one by one. And then we'll extrude this up one inch. Okay. So now we're going to add all of these together. Solids add this and this. Okay. So at this point we have our solid model. The next thing we want to do is we want to add some fillets and chamfers. So we'll go to solids and then fillet and this is going to be a quarter inch fillet. And what I want to do is I want to grab all the vertical edges first. In order to rotate I'm just uh, smashing on my mouse wheel and holding it. In older versions, I believe you have to hit control and smash on your mouse wheel. But now I have all my vertical edges done, so we'll go ahead and click OK. All right, so now what we want to do is fill it on uh, the bottom edges and fill up this uh, top edge. So we'll just click on this face here and then spacebar, and then we'll click on this edge here and then spacebar, spacebar, or right mouse OK. And then the last thing we want to do is add a chamfer on this top here. So we'll just change this to a chamfer. And um, let's see. It's a quarter inch chamfer, so we'll just click on this face. And there we go. And those are the steps that I use to create this shape. Just a very basic modeling example. And hopefully you find that uh, uh, useful and informative. And if there's any questions, please uh, reply back to the thread or comment on the Facebook page or check out my YouTube page. Thank you so much, guys. Bye now.